Paul Maurice on uh, Brandon Montour because he had one hell of a series and a guy that you don't necessarily think about as, as a, a top problem. defenseman. Yeah. Once upon a time, I suggested the Leafs trade for him. Oh, yeah, you got cooked. Was that was that yeah, cause a Nylander, Nylander deal. with Nick Ritchie? People yeah. text us that all when, the time. When, when, yeah. when oh, Nick yeah. Ritchie was supposed to be the next Lucic, by yeah. the way. I remember this. Oh, yeah. And by the way, you look at it now, it's like, it, you know, Montour's got 60-some points and leading their team to well, the second round. Well, he just finally hit the potential that I had on him. <laughs> That's right. That's all. That's took right. him like Hashtag seven Kipper years. Was right. yeah. <laughs> took him seven years, but, you know, Leafs better make sure that uh, that trade doesn't look good at the end of this series yeah. as just straight up Montour for right. Willie Nylander. Old Bill. Old Bill's got to get her done at the other end. I think this series is going to uh, work it, for it Willie. It was incredible watching him, and he's a fantastic skater. In many ways, we didn't think that Morgan could ever like go head-to-head -head with a guy like Hedman, and we know we found out Hedman was probably playing at about 40 or 50% with a bad hip. But, like... Montour can come in and, and have a similar look to Morgan where he can just skate all night long mm -hmm. and be a very dangerous guy. So let's get to Paul Maurice's thought on his number one defenseman, Brandon Montour. Yeah, he, he's been so good for us this year. I think confidence, we always fire those words around, but for a player like that, because he has an unusual, again, we've got a lot of unique players in our room. That's the word I'd kind of describe. It's unique. He's an incredible skater, right? His ability to change directions and to get up the ice and pick his spots. And as the year's gone, I think playing with Mark Stahl has had a really big impact on his career because Mark has been so consistent with his game every night, such a great pro every night. The other thing I think what happened is when, when Brandon went on the power play, it produced enough points that his five-on-five -five game could relax which in turn produced more five on five points, right? So you just, just settle. He, he's been a guy that's kind of fought five, six to get, in the, you know, into the five, six hole. And then he went, you know, to try to get out of the five, six hole. And once that happens, his game is settled. I'm really looking forward to that matchup. And it's so interesting too, because it's like a lot of similarities. Well, like Mark Luke, Stahl Luke, and Luke Shen and Luke Shen. It's, it's eerily mm -hmm. similar. Find the right guy, the right fit, the right vibe, the chemistry. Vibes, baby. So uh, he scored twice in Game 7 to become the first defenseman in 20 years to record five uh, five goals in a playoff series. Montu uh, Ed Jovanovski was the last one. Uh, Rob Blake, Andy Delmore, and Brian Leach in the 1994 Stanley Cup Final versus the Canucks, Kipper, which you know very well. I'm trying to go. find stats on Montour. Does he defend well? Does he defend or is he... Exactly, Morgan Riley. I don't really know. Does Morgan defend really well no. to the numbers? No. No. <laughs> so they're probably similar. But playoff Morgan does. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. his numbers were off the charts. Yeah, he was good in every single department. But was, you knew that was coming. Oh, uh, <laughs> wish we did on this show. We'd look like geniuses. I heard, uh, I heard Edge uh, on Fan Drive Time yesterday, which was an awesome interview. If you have a chance, go check it yeah. out on the podcast. The wrestler, Adam Copeland. And he legitimately is like i always believe in morgan riley and there's so many people in the media I talked about him during the regular season how bad he was and i was like oh did he mention uh, you by name no i was like oh did he God. say that sam <laughs> McKinney. into the bushes i was like edge please please don't talk about it. <laughs>